Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this rectangle A, B, C, D that consists of a bunch of these uh, squares as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the area of this uh, tiny yellow square has been given to us as 1. And now we are going to calculate the area of each and every square. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of a square. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow tiny square. Its area is 1. So that means each side of this tiny square is going to be 1 unit. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, pink square. And now let's suppose that this side length uh, is uh, x units. Then this whole side length is going to be x plus 1. So this is going to become x plus 1. And since we are dealing with a square, so that means each side is going to be x plus 1 as well. So this side is uh, x plus 1. This side is uh, x plus 1. And likewise, this side is uh, x plus 1 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, turquoise square. And we can see that both of these squares have same dimensions. So therefore, this side length is going to be x plus 1. This side length is uh, x plus 1. This side length is uh, x plus 1 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green square. We know that this uh, side length is uh, x uh, plus 1 as you can see over here. And this uh, side length is uh, x. So therefore, this whole side length is going to be x plus 1 plus x is going to give us 2x plus 1. And if this side length is 2x plus 1, then this length is going to be 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, and likewise 2x plus 1 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, purple uh, square. We know that this uh, whole side length uh, is uh, 2x plus 1 and this uh, tiny side length is uh, 1. So therefore, this side length is going to be 2x plus 1 minus 1. That is going to make uh, 2x. So therefore, the side length of this uh, purple square turns out to be 2x. If this side is 2x, then this side is going to be 2x. This side is going to be 2x. And likewise, this is 2x as well. And finally, let's focus on this uh, blue square. We know that this side length uh, of this uh, purple square is uh, 2x. And this tiny length is 1. So therefore, this length of this blue square is going to be 2x minus 1. If this length is 2x minus 1, then this side length is going to be 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1. And this side is going to be 2x minus 1 as well. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, pink square side length. This side length is uh, x plus 1. And this uh, tiny length is uh, 1. If we add this one, this whole length turns out to be x plus 1 plus 1 is going to become uh, x plus uh, Two. And now we can see that this uh, side length is uh, 
not only 2x minus 1 but also x plus 2. So therefore we can equate these two expressions. So let me go ahead and write down 2x minus 1 equal to x plus 2. So let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with 2x equal to x plus 3. Let's subtract x from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be simply 3 units. And now we are going to replace this x by 3 in these uh, expression, these side lengths. Here if I replace by 3, so this is going to become 2 times 3 minus 1. So that is going to give us 5. So this side length is 5 units and this side length is 5 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, pink uh, square. Let's go ahead and replace this x by 3. So this is going to become 3 plus 1 is going to be 4 units. This side length is going to be 4 units. Likewise 4 units as well. And now we can see that both of these squares have same dimensions. So therefore this side length is going to be 4. This side length is going to be 4 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green square. We are going to replace x by 3. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is going to become 7. So the side length of this green square is going to be 7 units and this side length is going to be 7 units as well. And finally let's focus on this uh, purple square. Let's go ahead and replace x by 3. 3 times 2 is going to give us 6. So this side length is 6 and this side length is 6 as well. So thus we can see the side lengths of all these squares turns out to be 5, 4, 4, 7 and 6 respectively. Now we are going to calculate the area of each and every square. Let's recall the area of a square formula S square. So the area for this blue square is going to be 5 times 5 is going to become 25 square units for this uh, pink square is going to be 4 times 4 is going to be 16 square units likewise this one is going to be 16 square units as well as for this green square 7 times 7 is going to become 49 square units and finally for this uh, purple square 6 times 6 is going to become 36 square units. And here's the area of these individual squares and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.